Hey Busy Bees, it's Mommy Leandra. In this video, I'm in Princess Tiana's hometown down in New Orleans, and I stay at her Disney getaway Port Orleans French Quarter for some mommy me time. I'm celebrating this channel's one year anniversary on YouTube, and I never knew I needed to dig a little deeper and tap into my creative side again. But we're not almost there, Busy Bees. We are here. Thanks for being my friends on the other side. And let me say, I have been living my best Princess Tiana life that I really enjoyed my mommy me time. And if you've been here from the very beginning, you know that is how this channel started. It was all about mommy me time. So everything is coming full circle. I'll show you a bit of my Tiana adventures at Port Orleans and in the New Orleans. And we'll answer the age old question, who has the better beignets? But I think we already know the answer to that question. Let's get into it. My stay at Port Orleans French Quarter was a bit of a last minute mommy me time stay because I had a teacher workshop in Orlando, but thanks to an awesome annual pass holder discount and availability, I was all set to venture the grounds and get settled in my room. I love that there's an option to head straight to the room, especially after a long day working. It's such a beautiful resort overall, and I just love the bright colors. After a quick stop in the room, I decided to head over to the French Quarter landing for the boat transportation to Disney Springs for dinner. And I just want to say, look how amazingly gorgeous and well kept these grounds are. If you have a Disney resort that you really like to visit, I would love to know what it is down below. So definitely let me know because I have to bring my family here or somewhere on property now because I am hooked. The wait for the water taxis to Disney Springs was about 10 to 15 minutes in total, so not too bad. Well, kind of bad because it was a bajillion degrees outside. <laughs> the water taxi adventure provided the perfect opportunity for me to reflect on the past year on YouTube. It's been a learning experience for sure. Brainstorming ideas, filming, editing, graphic design for thumbnails, writing, proofreading. And you know, I am an English teacher and I also had a wonderful TV production teacher in high school where those skills really have kicked in. Uh, my mom and my aunt's passions for teaching and writing and traveling and just my overall experience directing stage plays and you know making mixtapes for my then boyfriend now husband hot chocolate back in the day you know that came in handy but I must say that I was able to roll with the YouTube punches. I'm not going to lie, it was so awkward walking around Disney Springs on my own without my kiddos or my husband or my sisters. So I seem like an extrovert, but I can be very introverted. Introverted extrovert, is that a thing? <laughs> but it was really hard for me. But I absolutely love the atmosphere of Disney Springs, especially at this time of day, it was really, really calming. And Wine Bar George, this is my first time visiting and they have such beautiful decor and just the overall vibe was really nice. This would be a really great date night spot or a place to hang with your friends. This meatball dish was so yummy, but here's the thing about Wine Bar George, everything's shareable and I had no one to share with, so I was a little salty. But I must say that this Friesling, which is like a Dole Whip drink, was really, really great. Um, and as you can see here, they also have a Froscato. If you want to check out Adventures of Meg and Greg's channel, they had a Froscato. And when I saw the Friesling, I'm like, okay, I, I gotta try something because it looked really good on their channel. And this was amazing as well. Uh, very, very good food, but you have to come with others for sure. But after spending just an hour at Disney Springs, I realized, you know what? I'm really living my best mommy life right now, so let me embrace it. So I definitely headed over to the main section of the resort to check out what else they had. So back at the French Quarter, I just had to pick up these Princess Tiana mini ears before heading over to Scat Cat's Club Cafe to try the beignets. Now, this is when I kind of messed up. I should have gotten just the plain beignets so I could do a side-by-side -side comparison because I would be visiting New Orleans later that week. But 
because I'm like, oh, mommy me time. Of course, I got the boozy beignets and they were not terrible, but I got them with Bailey's and maybe next time I'll do rum chata or I'll just get the plain beignets. <laughs> Honestly, they were, I don't wanna say overhyped, but maybe overhyped. What do you think if you've had them? So the next morning, I headed over to Sasagula Float Works before my second day of my workshop. And I had Mickey Waffles because I feel like a resort stay is not complete without those. But what I really liked is the Mardi Gras theming and the hint of Princess and the Frog in the restaurant. That was really neat because it prepared me to go off to New Orleans. As much as I would like to say that I went to New Orleans on a whim to carry out some Princess Tiana, you know, princess fantasy, <laughs> that is not the case at all. I was there for the ISTE conference, which is a teacher and technology convention. It was absolutely amazing. And now I'm like, okay, I have to go to another huge convention like this. So D23 or VidCon or MegaCon or something, <laughs> because this was so much fun seeing Lego and hearing all all of these wonderful performers and Zach King who is a youtuber himself and hearing the words of B Mike and also Dr. Cornell West and Dr. Robert George like I was just blown away now it wouldn't be a Tiana inspired adventure without seeing my frog prince Mwah! All right, Busy Bee, so now that that kiss is out of the way and it looks like I'm not a frog, so that's good news, let's have an emoji party. I want to know when you came to Mama's in the Mood in celebration of the one year anniversary. Let's have an emoji party down in the comments section. If this is your very, very first video ever watching, welcome and drop some hearts in the comments section. If you've been here since the very beginning, then oh, thank you so much. I would love for you to do a celebration emoji. Emoji. And if you came during the 5,000 mile road trip from Disney World to Disneyland and back with my two kiddos in two weeks, I don't know what we were thinking, definitely drop a car emoji or even a Disney castle emoji. That would be really cute. Now let's get this party rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's move on to stroller review. I think there were around 15 of you who came on board during the stroller review back in February and March. And if you came during the Guardians of Galaxy Cosmic Rewind review, then by the way, there were like 100 busy bees from that video. Definitely drop a rocket ship in the comment section down below. I am really, really grateful to have you all here. And if you met me in some other way, let us all know and let's just, you know, let the good times roll. And of course, no trip to New Orleans is complete without going to Cafe Du Monde, which, oh my goodness, it is not overrated at all whatsoever by any means. Their coffee is really good too, but of course you're here for the beignets and the beignets are so fluffy and powdery. Do not wear dark colors. It will be all over you, but you'll definitely enjoy them. But what I really enjoyed about this trip in particular is that every night we were really able to enjoy the city and just see the sights and sounds and ride the streetcar. I have not been on the streetcar in years and years and years. So it was really cool to have that Tiana experience. And of course the beignets in New Orleans are way, way, way better. <laughs> I definitely got my Tiana vibes in on that trip, on both trips. Once again, I wanna say thank you, um, especially to those busy bees who've been here since the very beginning for the mommy me time content. I just wanna let you know that it, I still haven't really strayed away from mommy me time. Mommy me time is me producing these videos, doing voiceovers in my closet <laughs> for hours. And Mommy Me Time is just sharing my journey with you and wanting to promote safety when it comes to mental health and also family health. So thank you so much for being here on this journey with me and you watching and supporting my channel um, is a way of supporting my motherhood. So I appreciate you. 
And if you didn't know, um, Remember I Care, which I say at the end of every video, comes from my mother who is a teacher and she used to say that to her students and also to her friends. And you all are my friends and busy bees. I just want to say I look forward to the next year on this channel with you here on YouTube. So be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and remember, I care. What's up, mamas in a mood? We are in line right now to ride Aladdin's magical carpets, and there's bubbles everywhere. Why not? <laughs> Now we're juiced up! And we're celebrating! 